Easy guys, welcome to the DMB Basics series with Serum. In these videos, we're really just going to be focusing on the sound design elements and not the arrangement or creative process. So I've created this sound in Serum, which I'll just play for you first. So as you can hear, quite sub heavy and some resonant harmonics that are happening over the top. To jump straight into the patch, very basic. The main um, interest and movement is coming from this uh, wavetable that I've created. So to turn the effects off and listen to the wavetable on, on its own, it sounds like this. Whoops. So some nice resonances in there. If we recreate this wavetable, we'll go back to a basic shapes and start with the sine wave on um, with no unison. Jump into the editor, remove these other shapes. And then when we start with the sine, we're gonna create, we're gonna duplicate that one and then add a couple of extra harmonics. Duplicate it again. an extra harmonic and again and just keep doing this there's no kind of right or wrong way to do it it's just a case of creating some interesting differences between them on the morph you could use any of the ones uh, in here I quite like spectral um, but do experiment with what's there so now if we listen through our wavetable from the sine wave all the way through the extra harmonics uh, that sounds quite nice. So I've got a LFO on the wavetable position. And it's just set to two bar, so quite a slow movement. And then the unison is going to give us a phasing between the voices, which will create a nice wobble. And the more detuned the voices, the faster the wobble. So it's also a nice thing to automate, but it can get pretty crazy pretty quick. Got a sub oscillator happening uh, just on direct out with the level at about four o'clock. And then in the effects, got a distortion on soft clip with 100% drive. just uh, giving us some extra harmonics to the resonances that are there. Compressor, but it's not really doing anything. And a filter. Now I've got it on bandpass, but really I'm only using the filter as a secondary drive to add a bit more distortion. So we can take that um, LFO off of there. Maybe change this to a high pass filter, just leave it all the way at the bottom. Oops, sorry, it's very loud. Experiment with different amounts of unison. I've got the phase reset um, fixed, but because we'll be resampling this, you could have this on random as well and resample. Um, many iterations of it. So to go past that uh, or go to the next stage, resample that one. And then we'd chop up the wobbles and the movement out of this one to create something like what I've got going on across the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. So thanks again for watching. That's it for this video and I'll catch you in the next one.